hello and welcome back to the channel in today's video i am going to share with you a rundown of the most important and impactful changes of canadian immigration in 2022 and how it's going to impact you especially if you are looking to immigrate to canada in 2023 so um canada's immigration system saw very many developments in 2022 as the country dealt with the impacts of the COVID-19 pandemic. So IRCC, that is the Immigration, Refugees and Citizenship Canada, has continued to look into Canada's economic and societal needs through immigration. And this has resulted into new and very impactful developments and changes in the year, which I am going to discuss with you today, and they will definitely influence um, Canada's immigration system in 2023. So number one is the immigration levels plan. So this is probably the most impactful announcement in 2022, whereby on November 1st, 2022, IRCC announced its plan to welcome new immigrants over the next three years. And Canada is looking into welcoming more than 1.45 million new immigrants between 2023 and 2025 through its economic, family, humanitarian, and refugee class streams. And in 2022, the annual number of immigrants to be invited will, in, will, will increase to 500,000. And the provincial nominee programs, that is the PNPs, are also set to take over express entry as Canada's main Im economic immigration pathway. And that is why, guys, I always encourage you to take a look at any one of the 11 provinces and territories of Canada. Each of them have at least three to four um, different economic immigration pathways. You will definitely find something that applies to your particular situation. These are historic levels of immigration that have not been seen since the previous century. So they also speak to the importance of immigration as a strategy to recover from the COVID-19 pandemic. And then the number two most impactful change that we saw in Canada's immigration system in 2022 was the resumption of express entry. So in July of 2022, the express entry draws resumed for the first time since December 2020 when they were held because when they were held back because of the effects effects of COVID-19 pandemic. The express entry system includes the federal skilled worker program, the federal skilled worker class and the Canadian experience class and Together, these programs usually welcome huge, huge, huge numbers of economic immigrants every year. The number three main development we saw in Canada's immigration system in 2022 was that international students are now able to work for more than 20 hours a week. So beginning November 15, 2022, international students are temporarily able to legally work for more than 20 hours a class sorry a week during school sessions this development has marked a huge change from prior employment conditions for international students who had a ceiling of 20 hours per week in part-time work during academic sessions now students can work for unlimited number of hours during school sessions in part-time work off campus until December 31st, 2023. So this change is mainly aimed to address labor shortages that continue to affect Canada and especially in sectors that students regularly um, work, for example, food services, retail and the hospitality sectors. So that means if you have been looking to go and study in Canada, but I've been wondering even how do I pay my school fees, this temporary policy will help to take care of that. And then the number four most important impactful development to Canada's immigration system that we saw in 2022 was that NOC, 20, NOC 2021 changes and added um, express entry eligibility. So on November 16, 2022, Canada implemented the 2021 National Occupations Classification Code, that is NOC 2021, which will be used to classify and describe occupations in Canada. So the main change was an update shift to training, 
education experience and responsibilities that is T E E R T E R codes and the addition of 16 new eligible occupations to express entry so in my next video you want to check out i'm gonna share with you these 16 occupations that are now eligible for express entry but previously they were not eligible three occupations were also removed from express entry eligibility because of this change and again i'm gonna cover that in the video as well this change has received further attention due to the unintended glitches that have followed NOC changes to IRC systems affecting some express entry candidates. And this as well, I will cover in my next video. The fifth most important impactful change to Canada's immigration system in 2022 was New Brunswick announced a new immigration pilot program. Again, this is a video I'm going to cover fully i'll give it a dedicated video but in summary um in the first week of november immigration and opportunities new brunswick announced a new immigration pilot to welcome critical workers to the province of new brunswick and the program's name is the new brunswick critical worker pilot that is nbcwp which was designed to address specific labor needs of new brunswick and it is noted for its focus on helping immigrants to settle in the province. So the program has a huge, huge advantage because it has six selected employers in different industries who are piloting this program and currently recruiting international candidates. So the industries are in, um, in manufacturing, food production, farming and aquaculture. These have been selected because they already have an existing immigrant settlement services and you want to make sure that you are um, si uh, uh, subscribed to the channel because I'm going to share an entire separate video about these select employers and how you can apply for a job and immigrate to New Brunswick through this New Brunswick Critical Worker Pilot Program. So the new Brunswick Critical Worker Program is part of a larger initiative from IRCC to welcome newcomers to wider parts of Canada that are currently in need of people to work. Um, the number six latest development to the Canada immigration system that was enabled in 2022 is that families of LMIA-based work permit holders are now eligible to apply for open work permits. So in response to again the historic labor shortages and a growing class of retirees existing in the Canadian workforce, IHRCC made an unprecedented policy change to maximize the potential workforce already in Canada. So families of LMIA based work permit holders are now eligible to apply for open work permits. So open work permits basically allow holders to work for any employer in most industries. Alternatively, LMIA-based work permits are tied to a single employer in a specific industry. So when you have an open work permit in Canada, you have a higher advantage because technically you can work for any employer and in most industries. This new initiative is set to roll out in three separate phases beginning January 2023. Um, another change to the Canadian immigration system in 2022 that will affect you is that express entry will now no longer just be tied to your CRS points but to targeted occupations beginning 2023. So on June 23rd, 2022, Bill C-19 was passed in both houses of parliament in Canada. The bill contains a provision that allows the immigration minister to create groups within the express entry pool based on policy aims like in demand occupations and issue invitations to apply, that is ITAs, to these groups. The aim of this bill is to further leverage the express entry system to address Canadian labor market needs. While the policy changes helps Canada to better meet its labor shortages, it represents a move from the current system of issuing invitations to apply based solely on comprehensive ranking scores, that is CRS scores. So guys, just these developments alone show that 
Canada is still in the business of inviting new immigrants and as long as you have what is required then your chances of being invited to apply especially in 2023 are very high other broad trends moving into 2023 is that it is possible that 2023 will be shaped by many of these important changes in 2022 that i have just shared with you so for example i have talked about the renewed efforts to welcome newcomers to wider parts of canada we have just seen with the new brunswick um, critical work program and then we have um, the strength of the atlantic immigration pilot which supports this idea there's also a trend of targeting specific professions for immigration so IRCC has already expressed its intent to pursue this strategy in 2023 amid record job vacancies. So Canada, for example, has removed barriers to permanent residents for physicians, one of the most in-demand professions in recent years, likely a growing theme as IRCC looks to address specific labor shortages um, through immigration and then of course there's a continued move towards maximizing the potential workforce in canada in the midst of persistent labor shortages and continued over qualification of immigrants ircc has already made changes to this end among these are the new open work permit eligibility for families of labor market impact assessment lmia best work permit holders and new financial investment in immigrant accreditation for healthcare workers. So those changes suggest that Canada um, is interested in better utilizing foreign talent that is already in the country. Well, guys, that's it for today in terms of the most impactful changes of Canadian immigration in 2023 and what it can tell us about 2023. Of course, if you found the video helpful, please give it a thumbs up leave a sweet comment below and share it with all other people that you know who may be interested in starting a new life in canada i will see you on the next one bye guys